Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about a special set that's associated with functions. So say we have a function f from a to b. a here is the domain and b is the codomain. So we're going to let w be a subset of the codomain. So w is a subset of b. And we're going to define the following set. So f inverse, so like this, of w. This is the inverse image of W under F. So inverse image of W under F. It's also called uh, the pre-image. And this is probably one of the hardest, if not the hardest set to work with when you first start dealing with functions. So it's the set of all elements in A so little a and a, such that f of a is in w. So said another way, it's the set of all elements in a that get sent to w. Again, it's the set of all elements in a that get sent to w. Let me draw a picture so you see what is going on. So here is a, and here is b. And then w is going to be this purple set over here. Here's our W. So the inverse image is a subset of A, right? Because look, it's all of the little A's and capital A. So it resides inside A. So this is F inverse of W. So what is it? It's all of the little A's in A, right? all of these guys, the little A's in A, that go to W, so that actually go to W. So, so if you have an element um, in W, you can find some little a in capital A, such that little a goes to F of A. Let me say that again. Let me use a different color. So if you have an element in W, this green dot here is our element in W, that means there's some element in A, so little a, such that it goes there, right? I mean, let's think about it. Let's, let's, let's write this down. Let's take an element in here. So take, think about this. If you take an element, little a, in the inverse image of W, what does this mean? So this means, this means, well, this is the condition. This is what it means to be in the set. This means f of a is in w. So see, it takes it takes some getting used to uh, when you're first uh, learning how to use this. Let's do it. Let's do an example. Let's try to do a concrete example. Uh, I'll, I'll make one up uh, where we find uh, the inverse uh, the inverse image. Um, let's try uh, how about something like this uh, f from the set of real numbers uh, to the real numbers. I haven't done this problem. I, I have it written down here. Uh, and we have uh, f of x, should be fun, equals uh, 4x plus 5. 4x plus 5. It's a straight line. And then we have w. This will be a subset of the codomain. So w is going to be all of the positive numbers. Interesting. OK, all of the positive numbers. OK, and I guess we have to find. Um, the inverse image, we have to figure out uh, what this is, okay, what this is, okay, what this is. So let's, let's work it out. Let's work it out. So solution, let's just carefully write it out. I haven't done it, so I'm really going to have to think here. So if we take a y value, or no, sorry, an x value, right, it's an x value, an x value uh, in this set here. It's a little confusing because there's an x here. I think this would be more clear uh, if it was a y, uh, but I'll leave it. That's the way it was written. So we have this. So we take an x here. So what does this mean? This means that f of x is in w. Right? That's whenever you see this, you can automatically go to this. Right? Uh, recall, if you have f inverse of w, the definition was it's the set of all a and a, such that f of a is in W, and this is assuming that you have F A to B. So that's, and W is a subset of B. So this is, 
This is the definition that we're using here. Okay, so if you have W subset of B, F from A to B, the inverse image of W is this. So when you take X in here, that means F of X is in W, right? So our A is X. See, F of X is in W. Okay, so W is this set here, right? So that means your X is F of X. So that means F of X is positive. So F of X is positive. Well, F of X is 4X plus 5. So that means that uh, 4X plus 5 is positive, okay? And we're trying to figure out what X is, right? Because we, we care about X being in this set here. So you just solve for X. You subtract 5 and then divide by 4. So X is bigger than negative 5 fourths. So that's it. So whenever X is in this set, we use the definition. Oh, that was pretty cool. We got this. We solve for X, and so we know that it's this set here, negative 5 fourths to infinity, right? All the X is bigger than negative 5 fourths. So this will be the inverse image of W. So that was just a, a quick example uh, of, of what it means. The most important thing, though, is that you know that you know this. So when you're doing the proofs, um, whenever you take X, an F inverse of, let's just say, whatever, let's call it, let's call it Z, this means, right, this means that F of X is in Z. Likewise, likewise, if you have F of X in Z, this means that X is in the inverse image of Z, right? So you need to be able to go uh, uh, both ways, right? You need to be able to go uh, both ways. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.